don't get me wrong, I, I don't, I, I love the vintage culture. I love this whole scene. I love the, the music from the teens, 20s, and 30s, all the dancing. I love the prohibitionary cocktails, love all that stuff. But i um, definitely not living in the past. I don't think any of these people are. Um, everybody here has an iPhone. I think most of them found out about it from the internet. Um, sure, I, I love, you know, listening to Jolly Roll Morton uh, on my iPod. You know, and I love finding out about uh, you know all the historic bands and places and different events by uh, going on Google and searching on the internet. Um, again. I like modern music. You know, I, I love love punk, uh, love hip hop, all that other everything else. But you can find that anywhere else. You can go into any club in New York City, and they're playing the same remixes of Blondie or The Clash or stuff from the 70s and 80s, or uh, Lady Gaga. Um, everywhere and it's harder to find this stuff so if you want to hear this kind of music played live you have to come to you know an event like this and like I said everything is totally modern you know the, the kids who are doing it you know, some of them were born in the 80s you know it's not like a whole bunch of uh, people with one foot in the grave still playing the same songs they played in the 20s and 30s. No, there's people who are really in tune with what's going on today. They just happen to like this in addition to everything else. Um, even the people who love the vintage uh, clothing and things like that. Um, always up on the, the new places of uh, where to find stuff, always checking all the deals, going all around the country, um, buying stuff on eBay. You know, we, we love eBay. Love modern technology, without modern technology, without living in 2010, this kind of stuff couldn't happen.